Hey YouTube JP Dylan. This is going to be part two of the 60s Zenith repair. I did manage to scrounge up a horizontal output tube so we're going to swap that out and then uh, Shango mentioned something in my last video about uh, some fish paper insulator around the yoke and the focus sleeve that we need to examine and change out. So uh, let's get the thing apart and we'll take a look at that in a moment. Alright so I'm guessing this is what he's talking about here is we've got this fish paper that's behind this focus coil and it's pretty brittle and it's kind of flaking apart let's see if uh, yeah so we can see this is pretty charred and brittle and I guess if it arcs to the uh, the body body of the uh, uh, yoke here it starts murdering things really quick so I need to see if I can get some of this out of here and replace it. Because I definitely wouldn't want that to happen. Oh yeah, this one had already uh, cracked through. Come on, focus. Yeah, not good. So we got to figure out something to replace that with. Don't need no arky sparky here. I don't know if I have any fish paper that thin, but we'll have to come up with something before we power this thing back up. So uh, let's work on that. And then uh, we'll pop the horizontal output tube in there once we get the fish paper thing sorted out and then power this thing back up. So got to figure out what I'm going to do about this. Because obviously you don't want high voltage arcing to that metal collar piece there. Uh, I could see where that would hurt things in a hurry. So let's see what we got to work with. Yeah, this is all I got in my inventory of spare scrap. So that's obviously not going to be enough for this. So we're going to have to look around, just buy another sheet of it, and then cut something to fit here that we can slide back in uh, and then we'll work on getting this back together <clears throat> so let's take a look around and see what I can find as far as uh, stuff online that'll get here quick alright so looking at this we've got a couple of options there's two options that are local uh, there's this GC560 electrical insulation there's another one down here a computer's frozen up at the moment so I'm not gonna be able to scroll until it's done being uh, frozen or unfrozen. This is why I hate Firefox. It's such a memory hog. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it this now. Uh, they're just up in mid-California, so I'll probably get it before the 18th. Today's the 12th, so mm, probably 14th or 15th. And then we'll uh, cut that down and uh, fit it back in behind the yoke and go from there. So once we do that, then we can power the thing up without fear of uh, arcing or blowing anything up, which would be good. So yeah, we'll just wait for that to arrive. And just waiting for that fish paper to come, just to verify I'm not crazy and that the tube I pulled out of inventory is good. We've got it wired up and under tests, blammo. So we do have a good HO tube that we're going to pop in there as soon as that fish paper comes then we'll see what else this thing needs. All right, so let's fast forward a little bit. I did finally get my uh, fish paper in, and I took some measurements of the original dilapidated ring here. So if you're curious, if it will focus, there we go. So the outer diameter uh, I found to be three and three sixteenths, and the inner is one and 19 30 seconds. Uh, you want to get pretty close to that so it'll snug everything and be nice and tight in there, but we're going to cut that out and then we're going to cut our fish paper out and see if we can get the two to work out so that I can just slide this back in here and then we can fire it up. So if you're curious, here it is. It's GC Electronics 560 uh, fish paper. Electronic insulation is 10 thousandths thick. Comes in a nice roll. It's 10 by 24 inches, 240 square inches. And uh, we're going to try to flatten this out and make a cut out of that that we just did. Although my uh, 
cutting skills as a human being kind of fail me. So let's make this and then let's see if we can fit it around the yoke so that we have an insulator to prevent the uh, focus coil from arcing over anything. Let's get to it. All right, so there it is. The hardest part of all this is getting this to lay flat because it sure was very difficult to make it do so. Even still, it needs to be massaged a little bit. We'll cut this out and then we'll fit it around the yoke and see uh, if we're now ready to power up. All right, so there's our new piece. It's pretty close. I've just cut another little piece here that I'm gonna wedge in between that that's cut uh, to kind of fit along the neck. And it's not gonna be perfect like the original one was, but it's gonna keep the yoke, the focus coil from arcing to that bracket. So uh, I'll just trim that little corner edge off there. And maybe I'll even cement them together with a little bit of uh, high temperature glue and then we can actually figure out if this thing runs. And just as a precaution, I think what I'll do is go back underneath and we'll look at and see if any of those black beauties are tied to the horizontal circuit and just replace them as kind of a, a, uh, a precaution. So I'll trim this up, put a couple dabs of glue on here to keep it all together, and then we'll proceed from there. Okay, so looking at this, there are really only a couple of things that meet my immediate concern and that is this uh, .033 hanging off of the width control which could go pop. Uh, you've got these .1's here this one's been replaced already and you got this one here which probably should get changed out this .015 these are notorious for leaking and peeing everywhere or exploding. Uh, this one another .15 this one's been changed this one is not I could change all of these. Uh, also, I notice on the ESR meter, uh, although this can test really good, this one is not so great. But I can't see what the value is either, so it might just be like, you know, a 10 microfarad times 4 or something, because they all sections test about the same. And when you see that, it's probably okay. It's just a low value in microfarad. But again, can't see it, and I can't find my little inspection mirror, so I can't deal with that either. So, nominally, before I turn this thing on, I think I really want to replace that guy at the very least. And then maybe a couple here that are around the vertical circuit, just as kind of grins and giggles. So, uh, I'm going to grab the soldering gun and some replacement capacitors, and then we'll change those out. And then we'll fire it up. Alright, so I've got the caps changed out. Uh, we've got our .033 changed, the .1, the .015, the .15. I also saw this uh, .0068 here that was in the vertical and the original one is a black beauty here these like to go pop so I figured I'd change that while I'm in here uh, don't see a lot with the brown drops there's one over here in the sound section I might change it I might not really just want to power it up and see what else it does so we'll get the bottom cover on it get a cheater on it and see if it uh, fires up all right, so here it is. It's the big moment. We got everything back together. Let's see if it flies or if it fries. It's always that anticipation while the tubes warm up. Well, that's a good sign. This might have the vertical integrator problem. We haven't tried adjusting the height or anything yet. Got plenty of brightness. The tube's not in as bad a shape as I thought. I think if I keep this set, I'll definitely take the CRT out and clean behind the safety glass. But it's running. Let's get it hooked up to a signal and see if we can tweak it a bit. Well, this tuner's dead. I've got a signal fed in through it from a D, uh, over the air box, DGB box. And I can't get squat. Just snow. So something wrong in the tuner. 
but it's staying on and it's not freaking out. So on the next part, we'll deal with the uh, the tuner not working. We'll check the remaining tubes, and if we can get a good picture on it, then we'll do all the setup adjustments. But for now, it's alive, so I'm kind of happy about that. So until next time, uh, thanks for watching the video. More stuff to come soon.